In today's video, to oh, I've got an absolute banger of a tutorial for you today. Something is just going to absolutely blow you away. We're going to do some text masking. We're going to have text go in front of me. We're going to have text on me. We're going to have text go behind me, but in front of the background. And we're going to do it all without the masking designer. Let's take a look. I'm Harvey Roberts for Permanent Tourist in Helsinki and today we're messing around with text masking. We're going to do it all down on the timeline. It's an effect. You don't have to go any design, masking, designing or anything. It's right there in front of you. We're going to change its colour. We're going to change the background colour. We're going to have it go in front of me, on me, behind me. We're going to do so, so many things with it. We're going to change its size above and beyond what it says you can't size it to. How cool is that? And now there's been an update up to PowerDirector's background removal tool. Absolutely love this. It's got even better now. So I'm going to show you a quick view on that as well. As always, watch out for tips and tricks throughout the video tutorial. Let's open up PowerDirector. Let's do some text masking. <laughs> so let's start a new project. Let's import our video. I'm going to click on this one. Now I've pre-cut this for the sake of this tutorial. I'm going to drag this down onto my timeline. This is about 10 seconds long. I'm going to leave it like that. Now I'm going to drop the sound out of the way. Click it once and just drag that down. I don't want any sound. <laughs> you don't want to hear me banging on. And it's just basically a, 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 an outtake, a pre-cut, and that's it. See, nothing special. It's just me set up. Cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our effect, effects at the top left here. Click on effects and in under style effect here you'll see style effect go all the way down to text masking here and you have these three options a blurred a black fade and a white fade now these black and white they're exactly the same we can actually do this with either one it doesn't really matter the blurred one yeah that's not too bad it's okay i guess but we're going to use the the text white here left mouse click press and hold drag it down drop it down onto our clip. Now we get this options right here and you can see that our video clip has turned white. Interesting, right? Now there's been a new update and our rubbish bin has turned up. It's not now a little negative sign. If you see where my mouse is, it used to be a little negative sign. Now it's a little rubbish bin. Ooh, a big update just for that. Very nice. <laughs> So let's start with this. We've got front degree and background degree. Now these are like opacity sliders. So our front degree means whatever comes in the front is going to be is going to be see through and because it's like black and white, black and white and a background black and white. See, so it's gone white. Now, if I just move the background and go all the way down, you see it drops it down like so. Right. So let's do that and then bring the front in and you go, oh, it's not done anything. Well, actually, this affects the text. So let's just scrub it along and bring in our text like so you can see the text comes in and it covers and it comes over the top like this and it's white and if i go opposite direction on a slider to see that goes away our text and then that background comes in and now our text is see-through pretty neat right however the front color now because it's on there see we can't change its color so we can't do anything with these colors this looks like an old Windows 95 version of, an, <laughs> of a window. <laughs> I don't know what's happening here, but still. Um, so we can't change that. However, the background color here on the left hand side, see now we can change the background. We can make that color all different, all spooky and stuff. Yeah, I don't like that. And of course, if we go vice versa and change these and change that, which is what I'm going to be using today because I want to mess around with the text. So the front color now, now we can change our text color. See, very cool. Excellent job. So this is what I've got. And now we have the motion on the right hand side. So you've got scroll left, which means it goes, it scrolls from right to left like this. And there are two versions of this. And then you've got a scroll right. So you've only got two versions and the scroll right goes right to left, see, left to right. Now the two versions, of course, is if it's scroll left too, you get some extras like up there, see that? Uh, yeah. And the left one is more, even more chaotic. <laughs> it's like, oh God. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're going to just stay with scroll left. And the scroll right, of course, is exactly the opposite side. So it doesn't, doesn't make any difference to try it out. So we're going to leave this one as it is. Now we've got text mask. See, you can change this. You can put any anything you wish. Let's just change it just for this tutorial. And we'll put in Helsinki, like so. 
just for the sake of this tutorial there we go so it looks very very cool Whee! nice right text is over me i'm good excellent we can change its color if we so desire now there's a little button here that says font if we look at this and I click at this open you see you get this windows 95 style <laughs> window this is some kind of old stuff i don't know what this is now you've got the font font style size of course uh, you, you see the sample and you get a script now certain fonts have certain scripts it's not it, it's not everyone if you look at the script here it's got greek turkish it's quite many but if we go to a, a different font like here you see this is just western it doesn't have anything so choose the font mess around with what you've got now i'm going to click on condensed makes it a little bit fatter now you see the size here it says 72 right and i can't drag this slider down it says that's the size you've got it's not, it doesn't go any bigger however i'm going to just type in 150 i'm going to make this big and just type in enter bang <laughs> now that is some big ass text <laughs> so when you mess around with the font if you see that size see now it's 150 but even though the slider only goes to 72 <clears throat> change it as you wish just type in what you want <laughs> very cool i like this this is cool so we're going to keep it at that now the best part of this of course is the effect mask which is this area here where my mouse is and you can see now it's got several options to play with and a feather and inverted now because this it's already masked but it's not got any modifier to it so if i try to click on modify nothing happens and we've got several options to choose from here so let's have a look at the circle one so let's move it on circle now if i just drag this uh, along a little bit you'll see what happens to the text right there see now it's kind of like this circular and we can modify this which opens up this window here the masking window and all you do is you just drag these edges see and we can make the circle whatever size we so desire we're not going to play with the circle i don't like that and now the square and and we can actually before i go to the square with this feather radius so let's feather radius this you'll see that it the feather goes really quite interesting that is nice i like that as well and of course we can invert it so the text now goes behind the circle which i'm not quite sure why you'd want that but that is uh, right <laughs> in, but it's an interesting effect nevertheless um so the square of course is exactly the opposite now we're not going to see anything here because the square is taking up the whole screen so let's modify this a little bit and bring it and um, square it like so let's let's try that see now you can see we've got this square that we've just manipulated here and our text is behind it and we can feather this down a little bit like that it makes it like this just something <laughs> I'm not quite sure if we don't invert it it's now inside this square box that we've created here our text see that it just goes like that inside that box interesting concept not what we're looking for let's reset our modifier and click OK so it goes back now the third option which is the one we're going to be using is the one that I find incredibly great fun to play around with is the auto object selection now of course i'm here so it's going to select me so there we go i've clicked this and look what's happened the text now only shows up on me <laughs> that is super cool i absolutely love that so if you want the text to literally go over your shirt go to your font drop the text down to let's say 18 to 20 like so click ok now it's not going to see the effect you're going to have to scrub this along see there you go and the text comes in like that see and it's just over me <laughs> pretty sweet right now i'm going to increase this font size back up again because let's take it to 120 that might be a little bit too big 150 there we go so now you see they've got the font going over me which is very very cool now we can't mask the feather radius on this on, on the object selection it, it doesn't work i'm going to show you a cool trick on how to do that but we can invert the mast area which makes this one of the best things i've ever seen so make sure you click on this auto object selection first it makes this visible and click that 
Bang, look at that. The text is now behind me. How cool is that? Let's just run that along and show you how that works. Wow. Very, very cool. And of course, if we change the front color and we give it some nice colors, click OK. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. I love that. However, there's this little white edge here on the cutout. You're probably not going to be able to see it here on YouTube. It's got this little white edge there. I'm going to show you right now how to get rid of that. That is annoying, but that is super cool. I absolutely love that. So let's get rid of that white edge. So close this down. We've, we've done everything we want to do here. This is what we want. Now you can't move the text. This is the one thing that is not, you can't do, you can't change the, where this text is. It, it's central, nothing else. You can't modify it in any way. There's no keyframing or anything else we can do to change that. If we've got a keyframes and modify, it modifies the whole clip. So that's that's one of the down parts of this. So let's get rid of this white area here. Now I'm gonna close that down, don't want that anymore. I'm gonna go to medium, open up my little clip, bring another one and bring it down onto track two, like so. So now track two is covered track one, so you're not gonna see the text anymore because of that so we're going to fix that so let's get rid of this sound we're going to double click this open and now there's been an update to the background remover tool and this is something that is very cool and highly anticipated it's something i've been looking for so let's click on that click on the ai background remover like so and now we have three of these sliders to play around with so we can now actually blur this and feather this a lot better so i'm going to do a cutout on this one so that we get the background see now if i just turn off that first one so we can see this so you can see the edge there's a, light, a slight edge so let's move the edge thickness all the way to the right so you can see the edge thickness turn up see that and then if i move it all the way to the left see it gets rid of the edge thickness very very welcome I absolutely love this so I'm going to turn that up and I'm going to do the edge feather so you can see how that works now you're not going to be able to see a lot here uh, but it gets really sharp and really feathery so let's drop the feather let's drop all that way down like so very cool now you can't do the blur degree because the blur is for the blur background so if we blur the background like so now we can see how much you can blur the background its intensity is superb. We're going to go all the way. And then, of course, if we move this along, just keep moving it until you see. <coughs> Play around with the feather. Edge thickness. We can move it up and down. You probably can see this. Now, I'm going to move it just about. I think it's about somewhere there. And I'm going to edge feather it just up to six. Absolutely brilliant. Of course, we can actually keyframe this as well and advanced very very cool stuff a little beyond the scope of this tutorial so let's get back to what we were doing we need a background's gone we're going to leave the settings as they are because they are pretty sweet at that bring in our first clip so now we can see now i don't have that white edge anymore around me and it's very cool so if i stop that play this along no white edge along me absolutely wonderful there's a slight edge there i saw that so let's go fix that right there just on my cheekbone i can see a bit of an edge so go back to track two go to edge thickness drop that down a little bit more give it some more feather see what you can fix it's coming up there it's about there it's just touching it. I, I'm good with that. Excellent. Much nicer than what it was. Very cool. <laughs> and that is text masking. Excellent. How cool is that? Give it a try yourself. See what you can come up with. Go try out that new background removal tool. Very, very cool stuff in there. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, please consider subscribing, give us a like, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload new content. Go check out my channel for all things Cyberlink and more. That's my rant for today. Have a great day.
stay safe, people.